Hi, my name is Ryan Jacobs, and today we are making chilber, one of my favorite breakfasts. This is a Turkish breakfast dish, and the recipe is from my cookbook, Vegetarian Ideas. A link to that cookbook can be found in the description of this video. So to make chilber, we're going to start by making some garlic dill yogurt. And I'm using Greek yogurt here. If you don't have Greek yogurt, you can use regular yogurt and strain it for about an hour or two to thicken it up. So get the yogurt in your bowl, and then you want to tear some dill leaves from their stems. You don't want the dill to be too stemmy. So try and get the thick stems separated and just toss those away. And then take the remaining leaves and chop them up. And chop them pretty finely here. You don't want big dill pieces. You want it nice and fine so that it really mixes in with the yogurt. And then after the dill, we need a garlic clove. Smash it up, peel it. And then for the garlic, you can take a microplane grater and grate the garlic straight into the bowl. And don't use too much garlic. Really, one clove should do it. And we're not even going to use the whole clove. We're just going to get down to the point where we have a little garlic nub and we can't grate it anymore. And then use a spatula. That really helps get all the garlic into the bowl and off of the grater. And finally, we've got a little bit of white pepper. And I did add a little salt, too. and then mix it all up. So there is your yogurt. So now I'm going to plate this yogurt. Normally I would wait till the end uh, of making everything to plate a dish, but uh, I want the yogurt to come to room temperature. So I'm going to plate it up and then I'm going to get my pot of water going. This is for the poached egg. So I'm going to do two eggs here. And what I do is crack them into a fine mesh strainer that's set over a bowl. And that's going to sort of um, get the loose part of the egg white out. So you only have the, the part of the egg white that's going to hold together. And that's going to help uh, avoid that stringy stuff that you sometimes get with poached eggs. So now I'm going to test the water temperature. I want it to be right around 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it is, I get a vortex going. And then slide the eggs right in there. So you want the water spinning as the eggs are added. And ideally, the white part is going to sort of envelop the yolk. And set a timer for four minutes, right when the eggs go in. That's how long it's going to take them to cook. As they're cooking, just stir it every once in a while so you can keep that vortex going. And you can see one of these eggs is perfect. Uh, it's nice and surrounded by white. This other egg that I'm spooning out now, after four minutes, uh, is not the ideal, but it's still going to taste great. It's just going to look not quite as pretty as this one, which is perfectly surrounded by egg white. So there's your platonic ideal of a poached egg. And our final component is some spicy butter. So we're going to take a pan over medium heat, cook the butter, swirl it around a bit, And the idea here is to wait until the butter is really sizzling. So it's going to be foamy, and you're going to hear it snap, crackle, and pop. And when it's ready, it's going to sound something like this. Nice. So now we add our Aleppo pepper. And you want to use a generous amount here. Aleppo pepper is not too spicy but it is a very nice pepper flavor. If you don't have Aleppo pepper, you can use gochugaru. That's a pretty good substitute. And just swirl it around the pan. You want to cook it for, I don't know, maybe 15, 30 seconds until it's really fragrant and until you can see the color of the butter start to change. You want the butter to turn a nice orangey red 
from that Aleppo pepper. And once it's ready, you just pour it straight over your eggs, just like that. So now I serve this up with a couple pita wedges. I've reheated those a little bit in the oven or in the toaster, that'll also work. And look at that egg, beautiful. So this is a delicious Turkish breakfast dish called Shilber. Yum.